Prey. Hello and welcome to the first of my Povre tutorial videos. I'm just going to get you up and started in this video. Um, the following videos will hopefully show you how to do the real clever stuff. But first of all, let, let me tell you and show you what Povre can do. Um, here's an abstract picture that I've created with Povre. Uh, one of the fantastic things about Povre is that you don't have to be a clever 3D modeler. You don't have to be good with vectors and switching points around in 3D because you create your pictures entirely with text. If you're a programmer, if you are used to doing HTML or JavaScript, or possibly any of the other myriad of languages, you'll find that you can get on with Povre very easily because you just write text to create these 3D based images. I'm just clicking through a few sample images that I've created over the years, just to show you the sort of thing that you can do. I've used these images for all kinds of things in the past. Book covers, um, audio book covers as well, wallpapers to go at work. There's a sort of, I've done something similar to this picture, which was a wallpaper at my last place of employment. There you go. So all those pictures were created with Povre, which I'll open up here for you. Povre for Windows. Now, I've told you that you can create all those pictures with text. Well, here's a, a new file open and it's got no text in it. So let's get started. I'll just click on the run button and what this will do is render the picture. And as you can see, it's entirely blank. And that's because we've got no text here. So I'm going to start typing in some Povre commands uh, or SDL, scene description language. And then we'll have a picture, hopefully, that I can show you. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a sphere. And basically a sphere is a very simple object. It's uh, effectively a round ball. And I'm going to give it some color as well. I'll explain what all these different commands mean at some point. Just stay tuned. There you go. So this is a basic description of a sphere that I want to appear in my picture. The word sphere is the command to create a sphere. The curly braces that appear here, they contain all the definition for that sphere. The first part here is a 3D coordinate where I want that sphere to appear in the picture. It uses a left and right system, or X, also a up and down, Y, and a forwards and backwards, Z. I've put in 0, 0, 0, and that's because I want the sphere to be centred at the very root of all those three coordinates. It's a bit confusing, but in a future video I'll show you how that coordinate system works. The second item here, where I've put the number 2, that's simply the size that the sphere is going to be. Now the next part is a texture. I'm going to tell, tell Povre how I want that sphere to look. And all I've done here is say it's going to have a texture, the pigment of that texture is going to be red. And it's as simple as that. I'm going to click run. Yes, we will always save these because we don't want to lose anything. And what's happened here is I've got an error. You can see the error down at the bottom of the page where it says there's an undeclared identifier, red. Now that's because I haven't defined what red actually means. It's just a word. What we can do though to include that red color is include another file. Let me just type it in and then I'll explain it. Now what that line does is that tells Povre that when it runs this file it's going to go look for another file called colors.ing which is stored on my system elsewhere. It's then going to pull that in and that actually contains definitions for all the basic colors that you'll have red, blue, green, etc, etc, all defined in that file. So let's click run again. Ah, right, so it's still blank. Why is it still blank? We've told it to put a sphere in there, but it's done nothing. Well, the reason for that is that there's no camera. We haven't told Povre where the viewpoint is and what it's going to look at. So I'll type that in next. 
and I'll insert that in here just so it makes more sense. Camera. Again, we've got the curly braces, which indicate this is all the definition for the camera object. Now I'm specifying where I want the location to appear. Again, we're looking at the X, Y and Z coordinates in that order. So basically I'm saying it's not left or right, it's in the middle. It's not up or down, it's in the middle. But I've said minus 10 here for the forwards and backwards. What I'm actually doing is pulling the camera back 10 spaces from the origin point, which is where the sphere is at 0, 0, 0. But next step is to tell the camera which direction to look at. So I'm going to put that in here. Again, it uses that coordinate system, which I'll explain in more detail in a subsequent video. So now what I'm saying is I want a camera object to be positioned at 0, 0, minus 10, but it's going to look at 0, 0, 0. And our sphere is at 0, 0, 0. So that looks like we should see something now. And so I've run it again. Now what you can see is just a flat, boring circle. Now the reason for that is there's no light source in our picture, in our scene. There's nothing giving off light. Um, but Povre is set up with the default so that if you don't have any lights, you can still see some shapes if they've got colour. Uh, basically, it, it's like every object you create has a certain amount of glow. They're self-illuminating in that respect. But what that gives us is just a, a picture to show us that we haven't actually put a light source in. So we, let's fix that now. Light source. And again, like everything else so far, we're going to put some coordinates in. And what colour is the light going to be? Well, it's going to be white. And again, that's another colour definition, which comes from this file over here. Colours.ink. So, we've now got a camera, a light source, and something to look at. Let's run it and see what happens. Well, there you go. Now it's turned into a proper 3D-like object. The light source, which in this example is at position 10 on left to right, so it's 10 positions to the right, it's 10 positions up in the air, and it's pulled back 10 positions, which is much like the camera. So the camera and the light are both pulled back from the object. And there you go. That's getting you started with Povray. Make sure you check out the second video, which should be coming soon.